Hi dear students, welcome you all to the brilliant group of institution. Here we are going to discuss the reactivity of the reactivity of aldehydes and ketones towards nucleophilic addition reaction. What is the reactivity of aldehydes and ketone towards nucleophilic addition reaction? So let me bring one aldehyde and ketone. You know aldehyde and ketone, one group is common, no? What is that? Carbonyl group, yes? What do you mean by carbonyl group? The CO group, right? C double bond O group is called what? Carbonyl group, right? Carbonyl. It is called carbonyl group. You know, it's common in aldehydes and ketones, right? All right. Here, this carbon, carbon and oxygen, when you consider, you know, which is more electronegative element, oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. So, oxygen carries a partial negative, delta, delta represent a small. So, oxygen carry a partial negative charge because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, whereas carbon carry a partial positive charge, alright. So, why this charge in carbonyl compound here all? Because carbon and oxygen are, there is a different element, definitely there is a change in electronegativity. So, oxygen is more electronegative element, so it prefer negative charge and carbon carry positive charge, enough. Now, we are dealing with which reaction? Nucleophilic addition reaction. We are going to add a nucleophile on this carbonyl group, which aldehydes and ketone. What is a nucleophile? You know, nucleophiles are nucleus loving compounds. What is a nucleus charge? You know, nucleus charge is positive. So, nucleophile charge is what? Negative. Nucleophile is represented by like this, Nu minus. So, nucleophiles are either negative charged one or electron rich species. Maybe they are having lone pair or negative charge. So, generally they are electron rich compounds. Alright. Where this nucleophile can attack on this carbonyl compound here all? Of course, this nucleophile having a negative charge. So, they will prefer to attack on this carbonyl carbon. This is called carbonyl group and this carbon is called carbonyl carbon. Alright. Already this carbon having four bonds, right? Number one, two, three, four. If this nucleophile making a bond with this carbon, it becomes five. But you know, carbon valency should be four. How can we make it as four? Just this one of the bond from the double bond shifted to oxygen. That electron, two electron goes to oxygen. So what charge is getting by oxygen now? Negative. Alright, so this is our carbonyl group. When you add a nucleophile into the carbonyl group, this is what going to happen. This nucleophile attack on this carbon and this O become O minus. <coughs> Clear all of you? Now, so this is actually called nucleophilic addition reaction. The question is this one. What is the reactivity order of aldehydes and ketones? Which mean whether aldehydes or ketone which is more reactive towards nucleophilic addition reaction means this reaction. Which means on aldehyde or ketone this nucleophile can attack easier. That we are going to study. Alright, let's discuss some NCRT questions also. Very simple concept here all. Let me consider first of all a aldehyde. Okay, let me consider one aldehyde, for example, CH3CHO. You know what is CH3CHO is called? Ethanol, right? Two carbon contain aldehyde is called ethanol or acetaldehyde. Let me bring one ketone. For example, CH3CO, CH3. What it is called? Propanol or propantuon or acetone, correct? Which carbon here it carry a partial positive and oxygen carry negative charge? This is the carbonyl carbon, right? Yes, it carry a partial positive and partial negative. Partial positive and partial negative charge. Okay. Now let me bring one nucleophile. Nucleophile, I told you it's a negative or electron rich combo. For example, <coughs> when we adding this nucleophile, you know where it will going to attack near all NU. So nucleophile is ready. Nucleus, nucleophile is waiting to attack on this aldehydes and ketone. Where this nucleophile can attack? This nucleophile definitely going to attack on this carbon and this become what? O minus. This nucleophile attacking on this carbonyl carbon and it become O minus. Yes, of course it will happen on aldehydes and ketone. But the question is this one. Whether on aldehyde or ketone, where the nucleophile can attack easier? That is my question. What do you think, dear all? 
only one difference on aldehyde and ketone dear all on aldehyde right side is hydrogen hydrogen is not a, a very strong donating or withdrawing group it's a small element you know it's not a serious donating or group but left side on this carbonyl group in aldehyde you can see there is a methyl group you know that alkyl groups are electron donating group right alkyl groups are electron donating group what about ketone ketone on the carbonyl group left and right we have two electron donating group yes or no we have two electron donating group so what happened if it is an electron donating group it will give electrons this electron donating group will give electrons toward this carbon so what happened to the positive charge on carbon they are all this alkyl group giving electrons toward this carbon so the carbon actually carry, carry a partial positive charge right when this electron donating group giving electron electron is negative charge when it comes to the carbon this positive charge will decrease so can the nucleophile attack there no nucleophile already coming with a negative charge or electron rich it need high positive charge site correct but because of the one electron donating group its charge is decreasing positive charge is decreasing so nucleophile attack will be lesser <coughs> what about ketones in ketones there are two electron donating groups there are two electron donating groups the left and right what happened it will give electrons toward this carbon it will give electrons toward this carbon what happened to the positive charge on carbon it will decrease very fast or very high right so here the charge of this carbon positive charge of carbon decrease very much whereas here a small so where you can say whether aldehyde or ketone where you can see that there is a high positive charge on carbon i think it is in aldehyde because so there is only one donating group so we can say that aldehydes are more reactive than ketone towards which reaction nucleophilic addition reaction dear all of you let me conclude aldehydes are more reactive than ketones towards nucleophilic addition reaction why because in aldehyde there is only one donating group only one side yes or whereas in ketone there are two side left and right side we have electron donating group so what happened as the number of electron donating group increases or the strength of electron donating power increases the positive charge on carbon will decrease positive charge on carbon decreases mean nucleophile cannot attack there nucleophile if want to attack faster this carbon should be highly positive so compared to aldehydes and ketones aldehyde having a little higher positive charge because there is only one donating group so what are the factors affecting this reactivity order dear all that is called electron donating groups okay that will decided by electron donating groups edg you know electron donating groups and electron withdrawing groups we can say that who will uh, who will decrease this reactivity dear all who will decrease the positive charge on carbon that is electron donating group so electron donating group if it is there what are electron donating group you know alkyl groups all alkyl groups are electron donating group or alkoxy group for example methoxy ethoxy and uh, alcohol amine these kind of species are what electron donating group electron donating group if it is there in your compound means carbonyl group along with the carbonyl group it will decrease the reactivity of nucleophilic addition because they are giving electron right so positive charge on the carbon will decrease electron withdrawing groups you know nitro group aldehyde ketone acid cyanide etc right acid cyanide etc these are electron withdrawing group if electron withdrawing group if it is there it will increase the reactivity yes or no so electron donating group if it is there they will decrease the reactivity whereas electron withdrawing group can increase the reactivity of aldehydes and ketone towards nucleophilic addition reaction so let me conclude here all who is more reactive towards this reaction means nucleophilic addition reaction aldehydes are more reactive than ketone towards nucleophilic addition let's discuss some question it will be clear more this is the question just listen all of you this is my question arrange the following compounds in the increasing order of nucleophilic addition reactivity or reaction all right means the question which of these species undergo nucleophilic addition reaction faster ethanol what is ethanol let me write ch3cho all right 
propanol propanol is ch3 ch2 cho all right propanol is ch3 co ch3 propanol this is butanol ch3 co ch2 ch3 all right all compounds are ready now let me bring our nucleophile dear all of you nucleophile is ready on which compound this nucleophile can add first we already discussed among aldehydes and ketone who is more reactive towards this reaction aldehydes right ethanol and propanol are aldehyde propanone and butanone are ketone so we concluded that ethanol and propanol is more reactive because they are aldehyde yes aldehydes okay but the next question among ethanol and propanol which is more reactive I told you dear all, electron donating group, if it is there more, it will decrease the reactivity. So you can see here, this is only one methyl group. Yes, but here it is what? Ethyl group. Which one having more donating power? Ethyl. So more donating power, if it is there, you know, the carbon charge will decrease, right? Reactivity decrease. So ethanol, ethanol is more reactive. Dear all of you, the first compound is more reactive than second compound. Clear all of you? Because methyl is a less donating group. Ethyl is more donating than methyl. So as the donating power increases, reactivity decreases. Now come to propanone and butanone. Both are ketone, they are less reactive. In propanone, we have only two methyl group, whereas in butanone, one methyl and ethyl. Where is the more donating power? Here, right? So, less reactivity. So, we can say that third one is more reactive, fourth one is least. <coughs> this is the increasing order of reactivity towards nucleophilic addition. Clear all of you? Next question. What is benzaldehyde? Benzaldehyde means benzene with CHO group. What is paratoluvaldehyde? Paratoluvaldehyde means, you know, what is toluene? Benzene with a CH3. What is toluvaldehyde? You know, aldehyde. This is called benzaldehyde. Para position, there is a CH3. This is called paratoluvaldehyde. Next, paranitrobenzaldehyde. What is that? Paranitrobenzaldehyde means CHO. Paranitro means this one. What is acetophenone? We said, you know, acetophenone. Acetophenone means what? Benzene with COCH3. COCH3 is called what? Acetophenone. All right, dear all. Come on. The first, second, third compounds are aldehyde. Yes, these are aldehyde. Whereas, last compound is a ketone. Tell me, dear all, whether aldehyde or ketone is more reactive for this reaction? aldehydes right so this is least reactive fourth one is least reactive yes we can say that because it's a ketone now among these three aldehyde which is more reactive what is the speciality between them all of them contain benzaldehyde only the what is the difference this is a methyl group this is a nitro group i told you that alkyl groups are electron donating group Nitro group is a electron withdrawing group. Come on all of you. Who can increase this reactivity? We discussed before. Electron donating group will decrease this reactivity. Electron withdrawing group can increase the reactivity. So there is an electron withdrawing group here. So it will be more reactive. So the third compound is more reactive. Next. Among this A and B or the first one and the second one which is more reactive. Dear all. This is just benzaldehyde. This is para position there is a electron donating group electron donating group if it is there it will decrease the reactivity so this is better right so first one will undergo reaction more than which one the second one clear all of you so third one why it is more reactive let's analyze because there is an electron withdrawing group then why first one second one first one undergo reaction because there is no donating group if there is a donating group it will decrease the reactivity and why the fourth one is very least because it's a ketone clear all of you so we can conclude that two points you have to remember to answer this kind of board examination question first thing aldehydes are more reactive than ketone towards nucleophilic addition reaction because in aldehydes there is only less donating group whereas in ketone both side donating group it will decrease the reactivity what are the main factors affecting this reactivity that is electron donating group presence and electron withdrawing group presence who can increase this reactivity electron withdrawing group if it is there it will increase the reactivity and electron donating group will decrease the reactivity hope you clear all thank you bye brilliant Qatar. 
your trusted coaching partner for IIT, JE, NEET, Science and Commerce students with 10 years of excellence in quality training. Brilliant Qatar.